ask Tom on home show. David from Greenway Plaza, Houston, has some furnace worries. Well, he got an inspection of this furnace here, Tom, and it showed mm -hmm. carbon monoxide at three parts per million to zero parts per million. And David writes, they recommended replacing the furnace. A second technician said that five parts per million is the same as a kitchen gas stove. And consensus standards and regulatory limits range from nine to 50 parts per million, averaged over eight hours. So the thing is, it's 24 years old and in an excellent condition, he says, and rarely used in our Houston winters. But if it's potentially dangerous, I will replace it, he says, even though it's inspected annually and never failed. I'm not sure, he says, if I'm getting a commission-driven advice here. So what do you think about replacing this furnace? Anytime you have any kind of gas flame, whether it's a cooktop, uh, a gas water heater in a house would be a good example in a closet, say in your laundry room. Uh, of course, gas logs. There is going to be a measurable part of carbon monoxide. I mean, it's part of air. It's everywhere. And if that's in the attic and there's just a little bit, it's it's just unburned fuel. It's, it's going to happen. So it's not a big issue. Uh, as far as if you had a big crack or hole and it was all over the place, you don't really worry about the carbon monoxide. And I'll explain that in a minute. You worry about the blowout from the flame and the fire that it will cause, because that's what happens in the Houston area. We have forced fan uh, furnaces and air conditioning systems where it forces the air through in, in the furnace uh, uh, situation. It forces it through the firebox, which means it's blowing the carbon monoxide out into the attic or away from it. It's not going into the ductwork. So that's never been an issue. And you never hear people falling asleep and not waking up or anything like that in the Houston area, unless there's another type of problem that could be much worse. Uh, and it's usually not a furnace. Now, if you go up north and you get some of these standalone furnaces, which are totally different, you'll hear of people dying of carbon monoxide poisoning. And that's why those detectors are so important. Even in your own home here in the Houston area, you should have one or two around the big area, especially if you have a gas log fireplace or even if you have a, a cooktop too, because it, if it does start to leak gas too much, then you have a problem. But quite frankly, this is not in the, in the range and you're always gonna get a little bit. And I'm getting questions on my show lately here in the winter about this exact thing. These guys are going around and they're uh, finding and, and telling people they've got carbon monoxide problems when they really don't. And people are getting desperate to sell. It's a hard time in our, in our country right now. And there's a lot of hard sell going on. So always get a second opinion if you're not sure what you did. And I your second opinion, I, I kind of concur with. So that's my saying. Uh, I don't know if you'll ever get a furnace that will give you totally zero anywhere. So it's going to be pretty hard to find something like that. You almost want to say, does the other guy guarantee the carbon monoxide level will reach zero? Because, of course, well, he can't possibly. Yeah. But but let me ask you this, more, more to the point. Yeah. You talked mm -hmm. about the carbon monoxide detectors. I know we put the smoke detectors up on the ceiling. Where's the best place to locate the carbon monoxide detectors when we put them in our house? Towards the floor. And because it's heavy, it, so it settles. And most of them, and I have one in my house because I have a gas log fireplace and it's in that room only. And it plugs into the wall and the wall sockets are about 18 inches off the floor. It's been there forever. I tested, it still tests fine. I've never had a problem for, of it going off, but that's where they really go. So if you're concerned, always put one in the big room or on the floor and it, it'll warn you if you have any real issue. And you have to have it pretty bad for carbon monoxide. I mean, it's gotta be sitting in a garage with your uh, Ferrari running. And even those today are so energy efficient. I don't know if it'll take a while, but That's don't right. do that. Uh, but yeah. what I'm getting hey, at, and my show or, is, or don't okay, try yeah. it. Don't try it in the garage with your Tesla. That just it's no. not going to not the same thing. Well, yeah, that's right. a bit a little weird. <laughs> right. uh, but on my show this weekend, very quickly, just a quick plug for our certified home show pro. I had a gentleman call my show and was really uncomfortable with his exact same question. Rick from AirTech heard it texted me on the air, said, find out where he is. He was in the Sugarland area or something. Rick said, I'm down there. Rick went over there as a second opinion. It all worked out really well, and I'm not giving you all the details on how it worked out. But then Rick calls me back and says, hey, Tom, I checked it out. There was no problem at all. They were just trying to hard sell them. And the funny part is Rick said, they, this guy just bought the house, but he doesn't realize it that five years ago I put the uh, – the uh, evaporator coil in there, a brand new one. And so he says, I know that house really well. 
So right now what I'm getting at is that that was just a really freaky thing for a big city like Houston for us to be able to do that on the show live. But there's a lot of hard sell right now, and I want people to be very careful. Don't worry about getting second opinions. If you're in Houston, AirTech gives them for free. In fact, if you're looking for home show pros, you can trust we have them all on our homepage right there at homeshowradio.com. That's where you'll find them. And uh, we list them not only by name, but by qualification. And if you want to send us a question into the show, you can do that real easy by the homepage. You click on the Ask Tom button right there and uh, fill out the form and send it in. We'll answer it just like that. We can't promise that Rick will show up at your front door. Yeah, no, a that's a minute. very odd one. That's true. <laughs> but we can promise you that we really appreciate it if you see these on YouTube and you give us a thumbs up.